It has happened many times in various combat sports when cockiness beats humility and got humbled instantly. There are instances where fighters enter the arena with extreme overconfidence and ended up fooling themselves by the adverse reaction of taking their own medicine. There's a thin line that exists between losing with pride and winning with shame. Arm wrestling witnessed one such incident on 10th of August 2024 when a cocky seasoned pro clashed with a confident upcoming champion. The friendly banter on a podcast ended up turning into a heated super match, resulting in an obvious win for Devin and certainly a psychological victory for Chan Shaw. Devin, with his bloated hubris, was all over the place since the moment Neil Pickup announced his name. There was a visible uneasiness in his mannerisms, and he quite clearly wasn't comfortable with the whole situation. On the other hand, Chance was calm as a cucumber, understanding his place and situation better than he was thought of. Devin tried every sort of possible mudslinging he could, but Chance, like a lotus, deflected everything and remained calm and clean throughout. After the first round slip, Chance took Devin's hand close to the pad and the only way Devin could save a pin was to go way off the back of the pad. Comes the shoulder, Devin Larry's yeah. got the break, so that's a push off the back of the pad. As if it was not humiliating enough, Larrett fall started the second time and couldn't stop talking trash while locked in a hook with Chance. The third chance generated after that resulted in a cheeky foul for the Grandel and a glorious win for the Gummy Bear. Devin was shouting, sweating, complaining, fighting, falling, abusing, cursing and blushing. Those were the most humiliating 40 minutes of Devin's career. On the other hand, Chance did not even break a sweat. He was enjoying the whole scenario with a calm demeanor and a chill attitude. Showmanship is important. Promoting a fight is equally important too. But to what extent shall an athlete must demean himself or his adversary or the sport itself should be a matter of concern for everybody? Why a Michael Todd or a Ryan Bowen should be the face of every criticism and people like Devin be spared? Michael and Bowen are doing their part as far as popularizing the sport is concerned. And so is all the other athletes. Having 1 million subscribers doesn't give someone the liberty of being personal to every other opponent for the sake of promotion or content. Rest in peace, LeVon. I hope no limits will know his limits in future and be a little more respectful for the sake of the sport and for the sake of his stature in the sport as well. If you like my content and love arm wrestling, then like, share and subscribe. Keep healthy, keep hustling. This is Nitin Watts signing off.